Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Log of Note. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 is just round about the corner. So it's time for us to talk about the next generation of display technology. And no, it's not yet foldables. It's about LTPS and LTPO displays. Let's get started. So I've divided this video into three segments. The first one is a whole host of abbreviations for you to make you feel smarter. The second one explains how this technology works and the third one explains the benefits of LTPO. Let's start with the first segment. What are the abbreviations that you need to know? LTPS stands for low temperature, that's LT, polycrystalline silicon. LTPO stands for low temperature, that's LT again, and polycrystalline oxide. TFT stands for thin film transistor. IGZO or ZO stands for indium gallium zinc oxide. There, you have four abbreviations. I hope you're feeling smarter already. Next, let's talk about how this technology works. LTPS is the current technology. It's made at minus 650 degrees Celsius and it powers most of today's smartphones. It's a display technology. You have two types of displays broadly. You have LCD and OLED. Both of them are made up of obviously pixels. In the case of LCD, the pixels are never turned off, so you never have true black. In the case of OLED, some of the pixels are turned off, it's better for your eyes, and you have true black. Both of these pixels are controlled by a backplane. The backplane could be LTPS or LTPO, that's what we're going to see now. In the case of LTPS, the backplane is LTPS and it suffers from some disadvantages. Reduced resolution, reduced response times, reduced refresh rates. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a bit. In the case of LTPO, the backplane is divided into two, the switching section and the driving section. The switching section has LTPS and the driving section has IGZO, which is transparent, thereby allowing more light and having several other advantages, which we'll see in our final segment. For our final segment, let's look at the various advantages of LTPO. First of all, it has the variable refresh rate, meaning when you're looking at an article, it can be from 0 to 10 hertz. For a movie, it can be 24 to 120 hertz. And for a game, it can be 30 to 120 hertz. It saves battery and it increases response times. That's why the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a latency of only 9 milliseconds on the S Pen, whereas the regular Note 20, the phone that I would never recommend, has a latency of 26 milliseconds. The second major advantage is enhanced brightness because IGZO is transparent, which means the next year's flagship phones could have a peak brightness of 1600 nits. At that point of time, you're basically looking at a flashlight. And the third major advantage is higher resolution because it's a little bit smaller. Before I close out, I should tell you why this discussion is relevant right now. The S21 series is going to launch in January 2021. S21 and S21 Plus LTPS displays, only full HD Plus displays. But the S21 Ultra WQHD Plus resolution LTPO display and support for the S Pen. Meaning this is going to be my next phone and meaning this signifies the death of the Note line. Rest in peace guys. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up as always. Please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.